Ready? <clears throat> I'm Steven. And I'm Kevin. In today's episode of the Steven and Kevin Show, we're going to talk about maximizing the Olympics. Welcome back, everybody, to the Stephen and Kevin Show. This is episode number 34. Today we're going to be talking about the Olympics. And many of you might be wondering, what in the world do the Olympics have to do with my business? Well, yeah. stay tuned. Yeah, when I think about uh, the Olympics, I think about Zika virus. I think about the pollution. I think about security. A real all that uh, kind of stuff. optimist, real glass half full <laughs> kind of guy, aren't you, well, Kevin? But that's what everyone's talking about, right? But, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, the, th the reality is that a lot of your clients over the next month are going to be consumed and interested in watching the Olympics. And that presents an opportunity. And we brainstormed a lot of different ideas that you can use to maximize the Olympics. Right. And some people are going to be tuned into the negative. Some of your clients might be into the Zika virus or the pollution <laughs> or the security issues. Yeah. It is pretty interesting stuff. Not if your client is Usain Bolt, because as he says, he's too fast for mosquitoes, man. Too fast. I, your accent is, is really, really pretty good. You actually. know, I need to look up uh, great Usain Bolt quotes because I'm sure he's it. I only remember two. The one about being able to outrun mosquitoes and the one that says, uh, <laughs> well, the reason he's so fast is because he grew up eating uh, plantains or something like that. Or what was oh, it? Really? I don't There's know. There's some food that he ate that made him so fast. But, but he but. might be right. You know, I mean, if you're running that fast, can a mosquito actually bite you? No, I, or, I think that was part of the same article. They said, no, like mosquitoes aren't that fast. Oh, really? They actually yeah. proved what he said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so but funny. he's not walking around in Rio that same speed the whole time. I mean, oh, maybe he just runs everywhere. <laughs> he runs everywhere. Well, we'll see. But hey, uh, Rio's coming up. If you're watching this, uh, you know, sometime in the near future is up August 5th through the 21st. So it's around the corner. If you're watching this uh, in an archive version, you're probably thinking, well, the, the Olympics are already over, guys. What are you recording this for? Yeah, but we're trying to be topical. Yeah, and you clicked on the title, so it's your fault here. Yep. So uh, we got it coming up 5th through the 21st. It's an hour ahead of us, which is perfect timing so that, you know, frankly, if you want to host a viewing party, you want to do something fun around an event, uh, we're going to be in prime time here. Yes, exactly. Hour ahead of us on the eastern uh, seaboard here. There's cool. 42 sporting disciplines, 306 events, Kevin. I know you're pumped. They have 42 sporting disciplines, and there's a lot of obscure ones as well. Well, the 42, or some of them are like, you know, uh, what was it? One of them, like running or athletics. It, it encompasses running, throwing, jumping. Gotcha. So there's 306 events to keep up with. So one of the ideas uh, of, you know, trying to tie all this together, it's not like we're just searching for topics here. We thought it was kind of interesting to right. tie together what is a current event, what is a positive thing for most of you viewing in the U.S. or Canada. We all enjoy watching this kind of stuff. We can use it to engage our clients in, in good, enjoyable conversation. Part of it is, you, you know, we start by just making some small talk around it. Mm -hmm. You know, do you see any of the time trials for the Olympics? Or do you see the, uh, you know, when they were selecting the, the gymnasts for this year's team? Yeah, you know, small talk around. Yeah, the Olympics. are you are you watching the Olympics this year? What's your what's your favorite uh, sport? What are you you know What are you interested in watching? Oh, did you did you were you a swimmer in in high school or college? I mean, learning stuff about them great for small talk. Definitely. Yeah, and and part of what you're able to do, there's so many events going on. You want to have some viewing guides, some things you can send out that are going to help your clients navigate all this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it is, so for example, if Kevin was my client, I was talking to him, and he says, you know, my favorite sport was a uh, handball. Right. Well, we got a guide on handball, man. Right. I mean, they they have a very <laughs> impressive website, by the way. I didn't uh, think handball existed. I thought that was. I mean, really, I, playground I, ball. I, yeah. I think about elementary school playing handball or something up against a, a brick wall. You I'm know? sure somebody in the world is serious about that. But yeah, obviously they are. I mean, it's an Olympic sport. I mean, can you imagine saying, you know, I have a gold medal in handball?" Be like, wow, that's impressive. Yeah, what do you do for your full time job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's exactly right. Um, by the way, these guides are available on the website. We'll put the link in the description. But yeah, once you know what your clients enjoy and watching, you could down download the guide. And what's neat about the guides too is they actually tell you obviously the times that they're um, these events are, are taking place, but how the sport began, um, how scoring works, which is pretty neat. Um, it, it's actually they're really helpful guides. So good. Pretty neat. All right. So there's a ton of those. They're also available outside of the Olympic uh, website, um, you know, because frankly, some of this depends on what your clients are into. If you're having a conversation with clients and 
and they say, you know what, we've just we're glued to the uh, the track and field, or we're glued to the gymnastics, or yes. what have you. You know, to to kind of bucket people into different groups. And when you see an article about the gymnastics teams, you send it out to that particular client. Yes, very when you, cool. You get the the viewing guide. You send it to that particular client, and it makes it look like you're thinking about them, right? Because you are. Yep, great. So our so our first tip was small talk, right? Our second second tip was um, the the viewing guides, and our third tip is children's gifts. Gifts for your clients, children, they will absolutely love it. Especially when you were saying gymnastics, I was thinking about how many of your clients, like their children are into gymnastics and things like that. Yeah, or yeah. running or tennis or yeah. golf or, you know, the Summer Olympics so cool. are really, uh, you know, there's so many different sports that some of your clients with history in those sports or passions for those sports, uh, wrestling, I saw. I mean, there's mm -hmm. people are way into this stuff. So what do you get a client? I mean, like a T-shirt or something like that, you think? Yeah, I, you know, I, I went on Amazon prior to this call, and there were tons of little trinkets and T-shirts you cool. could buy. I mean, that's not appropriate for everybody, but the, the mission here is that when, when clients think Olympics, you want them thinking about you a little bit, right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, top of mind. So, uh, you know, for clients with young kids or grandkids, that might be a perfect gift to send them over some little American or Canadian flags, uh, yes. send them over some little shirts or whatnot. Oh, and, the flags is easy, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know, so when their their kids are out cheering on whatever team it is that's playing, you know, the soccer team in the first round. Uh, <laughs> that's about it. Yep. <laughs> uh, so uh, for the kids, viewing parties are another idea. The fact that they're an hour ahead is a huge, uh, uh, huge thing for viewing parties. If there's a major event coming up, a big soccer match, a uh, big tennis match, you know, you name it, it would be interesting to form a little gathering around. Definitely, because we're big fans of intimate events, right? Yeah. You know, intimate social events where you invite clients, they bring friends. This is something that's so non-threatening and a great way to deepen client relationships and meet new potential prospects. Do hold a viewing party at your house or a local pub or wherever it is where, you know, where you have to make sure that they're actually showing the, the event that you're, you're interested in watching. But I love that concept. And I think the, uh, the opening ceremony is always kind of interesting at least. I mean, you wouldn't want to sit there and watch hours of it, yeah. but it is uh, a Friday night at seven o'clock this year. I think that is the, the Friday, the uh, August 5th. That's cool. Uh, if I'm wrong, we'll correct it in the show notes, but uh, that might be a perfect time to get some people together. You're not going to plan a huge event around this, right? But you can get a few people together to watch it over a beer at the bar or to come over to your house for some, uh, for some snacks. Um, um, here, here's another idea, uh, setting updates about local athletes in the Olympics. And that's, again, great topics of conversation. I pulled up 2016 Olympians with North Carolina ties. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can probably find this. There's, there's all types of articles out there, um, including, you know, Harrison Barnes and, and Kyrie Irving. Uh, you know, playing some basketball, wow, dream right. team style. <laughs> but look, there's actually, there was a number of them. I think that there was like 40 of them from, from North Carolina. And it's, it's really, it's pretty interesting. It actually shows you the college they went to, where they mm. live. Uh, you know, and a lot of these people, truthfully, they have, you know, they do have full-time jobs, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they've been training their, their whole life to be in the Olympics. And so this is pretty cool. A good good topic of conversation. I think I saw you in there, Kevin. Kevin Nichols for Yo-Yo? Wow, I didn't know <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, It's Yo-Yo yo -yo Master. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Actually, I am pretty good with a Yo-Yo. Oh, yeah. I'd yeah. love to see that sometime. Yeah. So uh, the other thing you can do is Olympic themes in your content. Some of you are drafting your own blog posts, your own articles. Yeah. Uh, kind of like what we're doing here. We're weaving the Olympic theme into our content. Um I think your clients would find it interesting. And, and if you think about some of the themes that you play up in, in investment management, risk tolerance, financial planning, there's got to be some parallels with the Olympics. Sure. Right? Yeah. You know, you, I can easily see some articles going out on what the Olympics have in common with a good financial plan. Oh, you could definitely do that. Right. There's you some could. something you could, you know, takes a lot of preparation, you know, planning, execution you can make the consistency the leap. yeah right. the you discipline the all that kind of stuff love it um here's another idea that we were brainstorming in advance of today's podcast uh and that is um a field day for kids so uh and i think this was your idea so but but it I, was you know you pulling them to, together right yeah my idea uh, vaguely we didn't come up with all the thoughts on this I, I came up with two action steps for this kevin number one is buying a ton of ribbons and medals okay 
because everybody gets a ribbon or a medal nowadays. You know, that's one of the things that boomers have problems with when they talk about millennials <laughs> is that everyone gets a participation everybody trophy. gets a medal. No, here. I think what you should do is just have one medal, and that's the winner. It's uh, Little Johnny won the foot race. That's old, it. Every, old school. All, the rest of you are losers. <laughs> old school. So, <laughs> And uh, number two, Google it if you want to put one of these together because there's tons of instructions on it. Oh, cool. But the idea being kids and grandkids, if you want to pull, pull together a little bit of a fun field day, you're not talking about the entire elementary school worth of people out there. Yeah. But, you know, you had 10 or 20 people. You do some foot races. You have some beverages for the parents. It would be a good and interesting time now that we're around the Olympics. So I guess you could do it at maybe um, a local high school. You yeah. could do it at a park. Wherever there's a, a little field together, it would be fun. It actually would be. A, I really do like the, the concept and the, the idea there. So um, part of what we're, we're thinking about, whether it's with, with clients or with COIs, I mean, we, mm. we didn't talk much about working with accountants and attorneys, but this is a natural point of contact for them as well. Sure. Is you're, is you're looking for creative points of contact. Mm -hmm. You know, throughout the year, there's only so many times where you want to call and say, hey, Kevin, it's uh, it's Steven. Just calling to check in. Everything going well? Uh, you know, how, how's it going? I just, you know, those kind of calls get tired after a while. Yes. Right? So you want to have some interesting things to spice it up, whether by, by nature of having events or you send over a little gift, you send over an article, you're asking them during the course of your review meetings about what are they watching during the Olympics and whatnot. To learn more about them, build deeper relationships. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you might find out, you know, that, that a client was a swimmer in college and you never knew that until now. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's our tips. Use the Olympics to your advantage. They're great for small talk events and whatnot. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. And if you have a question, use hashtag Ask Stephen and Kevin on Twitter, on Instagram. We're happy to feature one of your questions for the show. Go Team USA.